Well, no one is more surprised to find me here speaking to you today. Um, born and brought up in the Church of Scotland, I think I first felt a nudge to ministry when I was 17, but I ignored it and spent most of the rest of my years running away from it. Uh, I went on to do other things, mainly teaching, uh, but it never quite left me. Um, ten years ago, I moved to Essex with my family at the time when transforming presence was becoming a big thing. And so I became an authorised local preacher. And I thought that was it. I would be fine. I was, I was teaching and I was able to preach and that was enough. God would, would just let it go. Uh, but, but he doesn't. And there was still this feeling inside that there was more I needed to be doing. And so I took an invit I was invited to a vacation stay. I didn't go looking. I was invited to talk about being an authorised local preacher. And while I was there during that day, I heard the invitation given to others to just say yes to God and stop fighting. And that just spoke so deeply to me that in that moment, I felt as if an enormous weight had just been taken off my shoulders and I think there were some tears uh, and I decided at that moment that I would stop fighting and I would say yes and see what God did with all the obstacles. I thought there was huge obstacles. I didn't know an awful lot about the Church of England. Um, my family I don't share my faith. I didn't think any of this was possible and yet here I am and I have just been ordained as a deacon to St Mary's in Dunmow and St Andrew's Barnston. Could I have written the story? Absolutely not. Uh, but it's very early days, but so far it actually just feels right.